Hi, this is Shiva and uh, hope you are all safe. Stay indoors, stay safe and let's fight this together. Okay. Getting into the topic, we are now going to discuss about the operation principles of a solar MPPT, Maximum Power Point Tracker. Before we get into this topic, I thought we should first uh, see a few points. Now, see this picture. Current is going to travel in a path and if the path looks clear like this, the flow of the current is easy. Now, look at this picture. If current or the flow of electron is going to go in this path, it is going to be a little bit tough for it. And that is why this is the symbol of resistance. In this path, the current flow is restricted or it is slow or it is very much reduced, we can say. So this is the symbol of a resistance. When there is resistance, the current flow become reduced. Okay, with this thought in your mind, have a look at this picture. This is an interesting picture. It's a tug of war between two teams. We'll now discuss on our topic MPPT maximum power point tracking. Okay, how does this work? Maximum power point tracking. It has to be very quick because the environment changes, the sun's light changes, the shadows keep moving and there is also dust on the modules. So the maximum power point tracking has to be very quick. The basic function of this maximum power point tracker is to collect the maximum energy possible at that point of time from the solar panel. We'll only be discussing about the basic about how a MPPT works and not about the algorithms employed in different inverters to make this principle work so quick. Okay, this MPPT works according to maximum power transfer theorem. What is a maximum power transfer theorem? Maximum power can be taken out of a source when the source resistance is equal to the load resistance. That is what the maximum power transfer theorem says. Okay, so to take the maximum power out of any source, the resistance of the source should be equal to the resistance of the load. Now coming to our concept, our source is the solar panel and our load is the solar inverter. The inverter has to take maximum power out of the solar panel. Now, the solar panel is giving its output in the form of current and the environment of the solar panel changes as we discussed. So the environment changes as in the shadows keep moving, the light from the sun keeps moving, there is dust on the panel, which means it is all affecting the current from the solar panel. Okay. When the current is affected, that means there is a resistance formed. Okay. Now, to match that resistance, the inverter should give an equal resistance. That is when the inverter can take maximum power out of this solar panel. So, do you remember this rheostat? The um, varying resistor. So, when you move the resistance, it keeps varying. It was, uh, you must uh, remember it from your college days. In your electrical lab, there used to be a rheostat, we call it a variable resistor. So, different points give different resistance. So, what this inverter does is, inverter keeps changing its resistance to equalize it to the source resistance, so it can take maximum power from the solar panel. So, this is how a MPPT works. This is just a basic principle of how this MPPT works and uh, the algorithms are different. Okay, now come think of the picture that I showed you in the front. Okay, The team on one side is trying to pull the team on the other side and to take the maximum strength of the opposite team, the team on the other side has to give a equal amount of strength. Only if I give equal strength, I can take the maximum strength from the opposite team. So my strength should be equal to the strength from the opposite team. That's when I am taking the maximum power. If I am strong but still I give a loose hand then their strength is not maximum utilized. So that is what this picture means. So it's basically to take the maximum strength out of the other team you will have to give the equal amount of resistance. So that's how the MPPT works. Thank you.